The next step here is I'm going to use the Select Border Edge tool to start building the heel. Uh, with the heel, uh, I've selected the entire border edge and I've now extruded outwards. So I'm going to scale this in and just move this out, realigning my vertices to match up with the uh, image that you see. Now each of these vertices are probably going to have to be moved again and again and again. I'm not sure that these are going to be where I want them. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to keep note of that. that they're going to be pretty close, but I may have to move them around a bit later. and We'll get to that. Now as you see what's happened here is we've started to define an actual edge loop by taking that border edge, that entire continuous loop of edges along the uh, back of the heel and extruding that we now have a loop of faces around that section, which is an actual edge loop. So uh, that's going to allow me to separately define out the heel. The thing about the heel as I'm working here uh, is that uh, unlike in the hand, where we actually don't have a heel, uh, there's a separate bone in the foot called the calcanus. And that's what we're actually defining here. That's what gives us our ridge uh, and our protrusion on this back side. Uh, and so keeping it as a separate edge loop, I think, helps it to be defined separately in that same way as a separate independent bone. Again, I made another extrusion, and now I'm just moving the vertices around to match up the image. Let's jump back to the uh, perspective view. Now it's time to just append up some of these faces. I'm going to try and close up this gap here uh, using my split polygon tool now to draw down through that center line. Remember how I just made a split on the bottom earlier, so I'm going to have essentially two faces on either side here. Uh, so I've added six new faces on the back. Starting to get defined. And there we go. Just insert in one more edge loop, scale this together a little bit. Jump to vertex component mode. Now I'm just going to move these vertices around so that they match up with the drawing. One of the problems from this view, though, is that um, as I move these around, you're going to see that my heel looks very square here, very kind of odd. Uh, I have to be able to come in and now actually move these around. Um, so I'm actually going to resize my viewports here just so I can focus mostly on these two views, uh, the perspective view and the side view. Uh, and in the side view, I'm going to take these vertices and move them inwards towards the foot, for lack of a better way of saying it. Uh, doing this is going to start to round out the foot in 3D. Um, so this up and over movement for each of these vertices uh, is what's going to create this rounding, or at least the first step of the rounding. Uh, the second step, once I have moved all of these uh, up to round out the bottom of the foot, is uh, that I'm going to have to widen out this section. Uh, and that's something we're going to look at in just a second. So there we go. Still very, very angular. Um, let's come in here. Again, soften out my edges on this. And um, let's see what we can do to manipulate this. Now, normally I would use the sculpt geometry tools uh, on this, but. Um, you know, Maya 2008 is a, a beautiful piece of software where sometimes you sculpt, as you see, and nothing happens. So um, instead of doing that, I'm going to have to do a lot of this a little bit more manually with vertex pushing. Uh, but I, I usually love to prefer those uh, sculpt geometry tools because of how quick they allow me to, to move multiple vertices around. Um, so you just got to face the problems as they come to you. Let's move these uh, vertices around a bit more. Uh, again, we're trying to mimic the uh, bottom of the ankle right now, so I'm going to push these around a little bit. And uh, again, that big problem with the heel so far is it's just not wide enough for me. So a lot of these next steps are going to be widening out this heel. There's no set way to do this. This is a sort of uh, as-you-see-it construction. Now, we, we've gone through the um, append this, extrude this sort of phase. And the rest of this part for defining the heel is really looking at the vertices uh, and trying to push and pull them around till they fit in a way that works for you uh, in all different views, not just from the side, not just from the back, 
but as you rotate around the shape, which is why as you see here, I'm working in the perspective view for this. 